guys and welcome to the channel. Um, as we're in lockdown over here in the UK, um, I'm going to out on the golf course. So what I thought I'd do is a what's in the bag for the 2021 season. A few things have changed from last time, a few things are still the same. So let's start and go through it straight away. The first thing that's changed is the bag. Um, reason being is... I now have a motor caddy trolley, so, um, and the last bag I had was a power caddy, so I decided that it has to match, as you do. So, I've upgraded myself now to a nice new, not new, but new to me, motor caddy bag. So that's the bag, um, which hopefully will fit everything in it. So we're going to start off with the bottom of the bag, and we're going to go with the putter. Now I'm still using the Ping, I don't know whether you can see that or not, the Ping Zing 2 uh, putter. But obviously I've got a new Odyssey grip on it, which I don't think I had last time. Which, uh, don't know, I, I, I just don't quite like the grip. I've heard the old one is a bit thinner, but it does what it needs to do. It's, uh, it's a nice little putter, and it's probably the cheapest thing in the bag as well. I think I paid a five or five pound for this out of a charity shop. Um, but it's the first thing I bought, so definitely worth the money, and it's used itself. Right, the irons wise, we're still on the Ben Ross HGX compressors. Let's see if I can show you that, you can see it. You might not do. Not that way. Um, so, originally, when I bought these, oh, before I forget, it's got the KBS Tour 90 shaft on them and the Lankin grips. Um, originally, when I bought these, I bought a five iron up to a sandwich but I managed to get a hold off wherever it's gone <sighs> same club but with a G a G on it for gap wedge so I bought the gap wedge um, and again this has the KBS Max on it uh, regular 80 I don't know what the other ones are. Tour nine, two, I don't know. That makes a difference, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I picked up the gap wedge. That really, I didn't need any other wedges. I didn't need the, you know, your 52s, 80s or whatever it is. I didn't need any gap wedges, anything else. So I had those three wedges, that's all that's, that'll do me. So, hybrids. Still got some Ben Rosses. This is the VX Pro Go 20 degree. Let's see if you can see that. Might want to see that because my light's um, shining on it. Um, and this has got a LDR, is that how you pronounce that? A -D -A -L -D -I -L -A. It's a 70 gram regular DVS I black shaft. Um, I don't have bought this really for one hole at my, my home club, so yeah. I do quite like it, it's a good colour little club. Next hybrid we've got is the Ben Ross V6 Escape. This is a 17 degree E2. 
with a green Aldia shaft again. Um, and it's 85 grams regular. And I really like this shaft because it's green. Look at that there. It just looks really good. So especially when you're teeing up against the ball, it looks, it looks really good. A green shaft. And also imagine head cover, which I've just dropped. Right, so what I've done as well is last March, before we had lockdown one, but now on lockdown three, I bought myself a new driver and I couldn't hit it. I had to wait until we got out on the course. So across the last sort of 12 months, I've had the Ben Ross driver, which I got rid of, and the Ben Ross three wood, which I got rid of. And I changed to a pin G5 driver and three wood. So, as you do, I thought, I'll have a change. I get these out, get some new clubs, and we can get out after Christmas and we can hit some stuff. How wrong was I? As soon as lockdown, as soon as Christmas is finished, lockdown three. So, We've had a complete change. We've gone for Cobra. Um, reason being is the latest Cobra driver that was out. I think it was the F9. Can't remember. One of them I tested and I quite liked it, so I thought that'll do. But I'm not paying that price, so we've gone for the S3 on the three wood. Um, nice blacky grey smoke shaft. Or blur shaft as it says on here. Um, regular flex. Doesn't say what it weighs. Um, that's great really. Uh, the reason I like this is I think the yellow is just really good. Really, really, really good the way it's got the yellow uh, on it. And I quite like the shaft. And there is a spider grip on it as well, which is quite good, which is quite, which I believe was new when the person put it on. So, top end of the bag, the big dog. So we bought, didn't come with a head cover, so I had to go and buy one. I bought, got this, which is from Kelton Manor, where the 2020, 2010 course is, which I have played. So I thought, well, I'll do. So we thought that. So, We've gone for, I don't think you're going to see this as well, I don't think you can, the S3 driver. reason I've liked this, again, it's got the yellow shaft on it. I don't think you can see very well. There we go. Probably matrix my top so you probably can't see it. Um, motory S3, 55. Dash 5 regular. Um, and it's just got a gold pride grip on it. So, and I just quite like the yellow. I think the yellow's really, really, really good. So, there's really a bit of a upgrade for my pink stuff. So it's, uh, I think that's 2011. I think the pings were 2005. So, just had a bit of an upgrade. So, that's it, guys. Um, Anything else I can say about the bag? We're still playing with Bridgestone balls. Um, Trisoft, which at the moment which I'm using. And that's it really, nothing else. It's just the bag, ready for the season. The plan is not to change anything now at all until I win the lottery and I can get myself some fifty clubs. But even then, I don't know. Um, so the other thing really got is, is the uh, motor caddy trolley, which is again, which is the S... I think it's the S1, is it? I can't remember what it's called now, it's gone. Ooh, oh man. But anyway, what the latest model is of the motor caddy trolley I've bought. So that's it. That's what's in the bag for 2021. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And click on the bell. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll speak to you soon. Bye.